Well, good morning, everybody. It's great to see y'all. Good morning. Um, Thank you. After our opening sentences, um, we'll begin morning prayer with the confession on page 79 in the Book of Common Prayer. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. The hour is coming and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth for such the Father seeks to worship him. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we, we confess by what we have done and by what we have done. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved you with our self. We are truly sorry and humbly repent. Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your way to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins, our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. 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 Continuing with the invitatory on page 80. Lord, open our lips. And, and our mouth mouth proclaim your praises. Glory to, Glory the, to the Father, the Father, 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 Father,
for the Lord loves justice. He does not forsake his faithful ones. They shall be kept safe forever. That the The righteous shall possess the land and dwell in it forever. The mouth of the righteous utters wisdom. And their tongue speaks what is right. The law of their God is in their heart. And their footsteps will not falter. The wicked spy on the righteous. And seek and occasion, seek occasion to, to kill them. them. The Lord will not abandon them to their hand. No, let them let them be brought to, to trial. Wait upon the Lord and keep his way. He will, he will raise you up as the land, land, and when the wicked are with the cross, he will see the end. I have seen the wicked in their arrogance. Flourishing. I went by, and behold, they were not there. I searched for them, and they could not be found. Mark those who are honest. Observe the upright. Well, there is a transgressors shall be destroyed, one and all. The future the future of the of the but the deliverance of the righteous comes from the Lord. He is in trouble. The Lord will help them and rescue them. He will rescue them from wicked and deliver them because they seek refuge in him. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now, and forever. Amen. Virginia has our scriptures for today. A reading from the book of Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, I am the Lord and there is no other. Besides me, there is no God. I arm you, though you do not know me, so that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is no one besides me. I am the Lord and there is no other. I form light and create darkness. I make weal and create woe. I, the Lord, do all these things. Shower, O heavens, from above, and let the skies rain down righteousness. Let the earth open, that salvation may spring up, and let it cause righteousness to sprout up also. I, the Lord, have created it. Woe to you who strive with your maker, earthen vessels with a potter, does the clay say to the one who fashions it, what are you making? Mm -hmm. Your work has no handles. Woe to you who anyone who says to a father, what are you begetting? Or to a woman, with what are you in labor? Thus says the Lord, the Holy One of Israel and its maker, will you question me about my children or command me concerning the work of my hands? I made the earth and created humankind upon it. It was my hands that stretched out the heavens and I commanded all their hosts. I have aroused Cyrus in righteousness and I will make all his paths straight. He shall build my city and set my exiles free, not for price or reward, says the Lord of hosts. Thus says the Lord, the wealth of Egypt and the merchandise of Ethiopia and the Sabaeans tall of stature shall come over to you and be yours. They shall follow you. They shall come over in chains and bow down to you. They will make supplication to you saying, God is with you alone and there is no other. There is no God beside him. Truly you are a God who hides himself, O God of Israel, the savior. All of them are put to shame and confounded. The makers of idols go in confusion together. But Israel is saved by the Lord with everlasting salvation. You shall not put, be put to shame or confounded to all eternity. Here ends the lesson.
we worship and adore you. Reading from the Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to them, Is a lamp brought in to be put under the bushel basket or under the bed and not on your lampstand? For there is nothing hidden except to be disclosed, nor is there anything secret except to come to light. Let anyone with ears to hear listen. And he said to them, Pay attention to what you hear. The measure you give will be the measure you get, and the more will be given to you. For those who have, more will be given, and from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. He also said the kingdom of God is as if someone would gather, scatter seed on the ground and would sleep and rise night and day, and the seed would sprout and grow. He does not know how. The earth produces of itself first the stalk, then the head, then the full grain in the head. But when the grain is ripe, at once he goes out with his sickle because the harvest has come. He also said, with what can we compare the kingdom of God or what parable will we choose for it? It is like a mustard seed, which was thrown, sown on the ground is the smallest of all the seeds on earth. Yet when it is sown, it grows up and becomes the greatest of all shrubs and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the air can make nests in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to hear it. He did not speak to them except in parables, but he explained everything in private to his disciples. Here ends the reading. Oh. Uh -oh. Around the world and across the centuries, let us affirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed found on page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. 
The prayers are found on page 97, and we will use the translation of the Lord's Prayer on the right. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, in heaven. hallowed to your name. Your kingdom come. Your will, will be done. done on earth and earth in heaven. Give us, give us today, today our daily bread. And forgive, forgive us, us our sins. As we, as we forgive those who sin against, against us. us. Save us from the time of trial. And deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the kingdom power, power and glory, glory are yours now, now and forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let, Let your, your people, people be joy. Joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For so only you can we live in safety. safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And, and God, God is is in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray so to God and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we, were, we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Rejoicing in the same Holy Spirit, we pray for a world in need. Gracious God, fountain of all wisdom, we pray for your church throughout the world. May the word of Christ dwell richly in our hearts and knit us together in the bond of your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for the leaders of the nations and for those in authority under them. Give them the gift of your wisdom and a right discernment in all things. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for our city, for all who live and work here, and for those who visit. Speak your word of peace in our midst, and help us to serve one another as Christ has served us. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for those who are seeking faith, longing to know you, the very word of life. May they hear your voice with hearts open to the knowledge of your love in Christ. Lord, in your mercy. Hear your prayer. prayer. We pray for those struggling with grief, fear, or sickness. May your living word bring comfort and healing to all those in need. Lord, in your mercy. Hear your prayer. prayer. We give thanks for all those who have died in the faith of Christ, and we rejoice with St. James and all of your saints, trusting in the promise of your word fulfilled. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Your prayer. Almighty God, you know the needs of your church in every place. Look graciously upon the people of St. James Parish and grant us the guidance of your Holy Spirit as we move through the search process for a new rector. Thank you for your faithful stewards you have provided and will provide for our leadership. Thank you for those who've agreed to serve on the search committee and for the ministry of our wardens and vestry. We thank you for the new rector you are preparing to serve among us, whoever and wherever he or she may be. Give us discernment, wisdom, patience, and your timing. Help us to care for each other with mm -hmm. mutual trust, respect, sure. kindness, and clarity of purpose. You are the good shepherd, and we ask you to shepherd us throughout this journey. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, 
we pray. Amen. Amen. We offer the names of those known to us in our community. Um, for everyone who's on the prayer list, we lift up our prayers, Lord, for them. And if, if you have anyone specific you wish to mention aloud that you'd like to pray for, or you can put them in the chat column. For James. For Rachel. Diane. For Sheila Osan, she's having rotator cuff surgery this morning. For Lucille and Joe. For Francis, Charlotte, Kit, and Elizabeth. For teachers and students and the 118th Congress. For Bill and Kathy. For Carolyn and Bob and Vivian and Marvin. For Michael, Deb, and Aqua. For Susan, Carol, Heather, Jane, and Aaron. For Ken, Bryce, and Jane. For Liz, Posey, and Ed. For Francis Hagen, Melissa, Lucy, and Henry. And who has some Thanksgivings this morning? I give thanks for Rob and the way he expresses those hymns. It's just beautiful. It's wonderful. I agree. You're here. Thank you, Rob. Thank you all. I'm just glad to be with this community. Just a great way to start the day. And at this time, we'll read the litany of thanksgiving. If you want to read along, it's on page 837. And we pray saying, we thank you, Lord. Let us give thanks to God, our Father, for all his gifts so freely bestowed upon us. For the beauty and wonder of your creation in earth and sky and sea. We thank you, thank Lord. You, Lord. For all that is gracious in the lives of men and women, revealing the image of Christ. We thank you. Thank you, Lord. For our daily food and drink, our homes and families and our friends. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For minds to think and hearts to love and hands to serve. We thank you, Lord. For health and strength to work and leisure to rest and play. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Gracious, who are patient in suffering and faithful in adversity. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For all valiant seekers after truth, liberty, and justice. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For the communion of saints in all times and places. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Above all, we give you thanks for the great mercies and promises given to, given to us in Christ Jesus, our Lord. To, to him, him be him praise, and praise and glory with you, Lord, Lord Father, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Bring forth the kingdom of God. are a light on the hill, O oh people, light for the city of God. Shine so holy and bright, O oh people, shine for the kingdom of God. Bring forth the kingdom of mercy, bring forth the kingdom of peace, bring forth the kingdom of justice, bring forth the city of God. seed of the word, O oh people, bring forth the kingdom of God. Seeds of mercy and seeds of justice grow in the kingdom.
kingdom of God. Bring forth the kingdom of mercy. Bring forth the kingdom of peace. Bring forth the kingdom of justice. Bring forth the city of God. We are a blessed and a pilgrim people bound for the kingdom of God. Love our journey and love our homeland. Love is the kingdom of God. Bring forth the kingdom of mercy. Bring forth the kingdom. Bring forth the kingdom of justice. Bring forth the city of God. Holy and sovereign Lord, when the earth and all its people quake, you hold its pillars firm. What is uncertain and frightening to us is completely known to you and controlled by you. Look mercifully on the people of St. James and other parishes represented here. Although at this time we're apart from each other, we pray your Holy Spirit will unite us as one. Pour upon us your peace, which passes all understanding. Keep us safe and healthy and above all, keep us mindful of those to whom we should show the love and compassion of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Let us bless the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God. God. Hallelujah. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord, so, Thank you. Y'all go have a wonderful day, everybody. Thank you very you much. Too. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye, guys.